Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this question, we are given a triangle ABC and this semicircle is drawn according to the given diagram. This AB touches the semicircle and this side BC touches the semicircle. Let the point of contact be P here and this point is let Q. So we are given the length of side AB as 12 unit and BC length is 18 unit. AC length is 25 units. We have to find the length of AO and the diameter of the circle. Length of AO is uh, to be found and the diameter. These two things we have to find. To find the required values we need some constructions join OQ and OP and join OB. As we know that radius and tangent at the point of contacts will be perpendicular so this angle is 90 this is 90 90 90 so tangent and the radius at the point of contact will be mutually perpendicular so this OQ and OP are radii from the center to the circumference and we know that from exterior point tangents drawn to a circle or semicircle in this case will be equal it means BP is equal to BQ basically we are going to use two three concepts that uh, radius and tangent at the point of contact will be perpendicular and from outside point two tangents drawn to a circle will be equal if this is P and this is Q then OP is equal to OQ and third concept is angle bisector theorem let A B C be any triangle and A D bisects this angle B A C means this angle is equal to this angle then according to angle bisector theorem we can say that A B upon B D is equal to A C upon D C A C upon D C this is angle bisector theorem these three concepts we are going to use here Considering these two triangles, triangle BPO and BQO, OP is equal to OQ that radii, OB is equal to OB, it is common in both the triangles and BP is equal to BQ. So by SSS test, these two triangles are congruent. Triangle BPO is congruent to triangle BQO from the congruency corresponding angles of congruent triangles are equal means this angle is equal to this angle so by angle bisector theorem because this BO bisects the angle ABC we can say that BA upon AO BA upon AO is equal to BC upon OC BA is 12 and AO take AO as AO and this OC as 25 minus AO BA12 over AO is equal to BC is 18 over this OC only this OC is 25 minus AO and if we simplify it you can cancel this by 6 2s are and 6 3s are so 2 into 25 minus 2 AO that is 50 minus 2 AO that is equal to 3 AO which gives minus 2 AO and plus 3 AO is 5 AO is 50 and that is AO is equal to 50 divided by 5 which is 10 units. So we found AO as 10 units, the first answer. 
Now to get the diameter, let us suppose this BP and BQ are each equal and BXX. So BP and BX, BP is equal to BQ is equal to X and that means AP is equal to 12 minus X and QC is equal to 18 minus X. So we have two right angle triangles APO and CQO. Using Pythagoras theorem in these two triangles, R square is equal to AO square and we found AO as 10 square minus AP square is 12, AP is 12 minus X, the whole square. But the same R square is equal to this OC square minus QC square and OC is 25 minus this we found 10 so this OC will be 25 minus 10 is 15 same R square is equal to this OC square minus QC square which is 15 square minus 18 minus X square 18 minus X square so we simplify this so taking this in left and taking 10 square in right so we will get 18 minus x the whole square minus 12 minus x the whole square that is equal to 15 square minus 10 square. So if we use a square minus b square as a plus b into a minus b and we will get in one bracket sum of these two in second bracket difference of these two we are getting 18 minus x plus 12 minus x into 18 minus x minus 12 plus x which is equal to 225 minus 100 so 125 and that is finally 18 plus 12 30 minus 2x and this is minus x plus x will get cancelled 18 minus 12 is 6 is equal to 125 that means 125 by 6 30 minus 2 x is 125 by 6 so 2 x is equal to 30 minus 125 by 6 55 by 6 which gives x is equal to 55 by 12 this we found x now r square is equal to 10 square minus 12 minus x is the whole square we can use this r square is equal to 10 square minus 12 minus 55 by 12 the whole square this we found value of x 55 by 12 and this is equal to 12 into 12 144 minus 55 so it will be 10 square minus 89 by 12 the whole square it means r square is equal to 10 plus this in one bracket 10 minus this in other bracket so 10 10 minus 89 by 12 so that is equal to 120 plus 89 upon 12 into 120 minus 89 upon 12 that is equal to r square is equal to 120 plus 89 which is 209 And 120 minus 89 is 31 by 144 means 112 into 12 144. So which is equal to R under root of 
this the square root of 144 is 12 and this is under root of uh, uh, if you multiply we will get it uh, 6 4 and 7 9 this thing so therefore diameter is which is under root 6 4 7 9 by 6 and that is approximately something uh, 13.4 units and that is the answer.